Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, this is an amendment I think we can all agree on. The federal government has failed to pay the dues um, and the benefits of those servicemen and women in the state of Washington that earned them. Uh, we found out that the, a few years ago that the federal government uh, pays approximately around 25% of those earnings. Uh, those are individuals that have risked their lives, uh, their mental health, and their physical health for us to be free here today. This bill was brought forth a few years ago, and within um, the last couple years, uh, the report come back from the Department of Veteran Affairs shows an astronomical return on the dollar that we spent getting veteran service officers into these counties. I want to briefly describe um, a few of these counties. Uh, in one tri-county area in my district, and that's Ferry Stevens County, uh, over a million dollars in less than a year of federal benefits were paid out to um, individuals in those counties. That is um, astronomical when you talk about almost the amount of the county budget was due uh, for veterans. Uh, those veterans uh, did not have heat. Many of them were living, um, cutting down trees around their house just to burn it, to stay warm. I met with them. Uh, many of them um, had no way to get food. Uh, I met a, a veteran who had a tarp for a roof because his roof was leaking. Madam Speaker, many of these veterans are using state uh, resources and, and state benefits. However, the federal government were supposed to take care of those issues. Uh, Madam Speaker, in Kalalam County, $152,320 is now paid monthly since this policy path passed to individuals in the 24th district. Almost $150,000 a month, Madam Speaker, in less than a year was due to those individuals, and it will only grow, go up as we find more individuals that were not paid. Madam Speaker, once again, from the Department of Veteran Affairs, 80% of unfunded federal funds were due to the individuals in the state of Washington that earned those funds, and this uh, bill, once again, just funds those uh, counties that are needed to make sure the individuals that have risked their lives so we can be here today and argue this wonderful budget are paid the federal funds that were due to them. I urge a yes vote.